In the past few years that I have my courses on Udemy and my videos on YouTube, mainly related to Power Apps, Power Automate, and in general, Power Platform, the most common questions that I've got on Udemy, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, no matter where, are mainly related to working with data and table. Why? Simple. Because all of a sudden, the relational data model does not exist anymore, and we are moving into hierarchical model. The way that table functions work is slightly different from our traditional SQL, or you know what, let's not waste time. I have a new course for you that covers everything that you need to know about table and table functions in Power Apps. Let's get into it and see what I've cooked for you. The exact course title is Master Microsoft Power Apps Table Functions. And as you can see, it is still zero mileage, so zero rating and zero enrollments. The objective of this course was to provide lots of practice opportunity. We know that inside Power Apps, we write code, but not that much like C Sharp or other traditional programming languages. But the thing is that code is very dense with lots of functionality packed in a few lines of code. So to master that, you require lots of practice, and this course is exactly about it. We are going to write lots of code in a low-code development platform. Let's see what we are going to learn. We are going to learn the basic, you, you know what, you know, feel free to pause the video and see what's going on here. But everything in this course is about table functions and how to work with table, data, lists, and anything that has rows and columns. But I want to highlight is here. The course content has multiple chapters. It starts with an introduction. We go through the Power Apps formula basics before I push you to the deep end. But here is the unique part of this course. Project one, two, three, four, five, and six. So every single one of these sections is a project. So I defined multiple projects typically the same way that we get it from the client and we start analyzing it, solutioning it, and we go through every single function or formula that we need to solve that problem. We put it together and we build the solution. As you can see, some of them are bigger, something like a three hour project. The others are smaller, but still they are projects that we typically see in the project. And I'm starting from the point that you typically get the project initiative. So basically, we want an app to do these, these, these things. So you want to see an example? Sure. I go through the project definition for project one. That should give you an idea what kind of projects we are going to discuss in this course. And you decide whether this is the right course for you. The first project we are working with, I call it project one. And the ask is to create an order form. So the form should look like this. The user opens the form. The date is going to be the default today date. And the order number should be undefined. And after the order is saved, the number should be assigned to it. And it should automatically get the current user name and assign it as the user who places the order. But in this screen, we should have a few text boxes that user can enter the item, unit price, quantity, and subtotal. And after all these things are entered, a button should be available so when the user clicks on it, the item is added to the items in this order. Of course, user can enter more and more items, and all these items will be added to the list. Of course, if the user decides to remove the item, there should be a delete button here that the user can click on it, and the item is removed from the list. Finally, after everything looks good, user should be able to push the button called place order, and the entire order, including the order date, order number, and the order placed by, with all the order items, with their quantity, unit price, and subtotal, is sent to, well, we don't know. We get this request and we say, okay, you know what, let's have a Q&A session with the client. Oh, by the way, before I go there, if you have been long enough in the field, you know that Getting something like this, getting a wireframe mock-up or anything that you want to call it, in the beginning of the project, you should be extremely lucky to get one of these. Regardless, if you don't, it's on your plate. Sit back and put something like this together based on the email, based on the conversation, meeting, whatever that you get from the client. 
and put the UI together so that you can have something visual to discuss rather than getting back to your Power Apps and build something. Something like this, it takes a few minutes to put it together inside PowerPoint or Visio. Regardless, we go to a Q&A session with the client and we start asking our question. Question number one is going to be, shouldn't the user pick up the items from an existing list rather than just entering whatever they can possibly enter? The answer is yes, but the list is not decided yet. While you work on the form, we arrange your access to the items list. Oops. For now, user should be able to manually enter the item in the text box. Okay. Shouldn't the unit price be predefined and automatically selected? It's, it doesn't really make any sense for the user to go there and enter manually the unit price. Yes, and the answer is products should have a unit price list, but for now, user should be able to enter it manually. Third question, when the user clicks the place order, where does the order go? Well, the order should go to a database. It can be either SharePoint or Dataverse. We are not sure yet. We will update you later. For now, just work on the form. And yes, you say thank you very much, and then, okay, let's get back and start working. A project like this, I typically put it on hold and say, guys, give me the answers before I start building anything. But for this one, we go step by step. It's a very good practice to learn lots of things on the way. And as a result, we also see what are the troubles when we start building the solution with lots of unknowns. And on the way, we are dealing with lots of table functions. All right. I did my part and I delivered the course. Now it's your turn to enroll, go through the chapters, and give me your feedback. Oh, by the way, if you want to enroll, if you are lucky enough to watch this video within the first three days of release, there is a free course coupon. I put it right here on the screen and just enjoy the free enrollment. Otherwise, if you are not that lucky, first of all, you may consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so the future opportunities like this will not be out of your reach. And also in the video description, there is always a link for discount vouchers for all my courses. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on Udemy.